Hello and welcome to another Idea Space Craft Along with the Public Library of Brookline. My name is Christy and I'm a reference and technology librarian at the Brookline Village Library. And I'm here today in our Idea Space to show you all how to make your own hand dyed reusable gift wrap. Let's get started. Is this your first Public Library of Brookline to go program? Here's how it works. Each month the library is offering new take home program kits complete with everything you need to follow along and video or written instructions created by one of your local librarians. The best part? Absolutely no due dates. You can keep everything included in your kit. Visit brklib.com slash to go for a full list of our current kit offerings. Then come by any Brookline Library location the second Monday of every month to pick up your kit while supplies last. Now let's get crafting. Today's project will take most makers about an hour to complete plus several hours dyeing and drying time. Here's what you'll find inside this month's kit. One pair of disposable plastic gloves, one plain white fabric square, one tube of white glue, and one bottle of fabric dye. From home, you'll also need a trash bag or plastic grocery bag to keep your work surface safe from the glue and fabric dye, and enough workspace to completely spread out the fabric square and leave it to dry there. Take a moment to gather your materials and then we'll get started. When you're ready to get started, cover your work surface with a plastic bag, then lay your fabric square out flat over top of it. Today, we're going to be creating pattern fabric using a technique called resist dyeing, in which parts of the fabric are painted with a substance that resists the fabric dye before we apply the dye, so that those sections stay white or very lightly colored. You might be familiar with one of the most famous forms of resist dyeing, batik, an Indonesian technique that uses multiple cycles of hot wax and dye to create intricate patterns on fabrics, like these. In place of hot wax, we'll be using white craft glue today as our dye resist. Open the tube of glue in your kit and use it to draw as many shapes and patterns on your fabric as you'd like. Wherever the glue is, the fabric will stay light or white once the dye is applied. Cover as much or as little of the square as you'd like, then put the cap back on your glue and leave your fabric to dry completely through. When the glue on your fabric has completely dried, fold it into a small square on the plastic and put on the plastic gloves in your kit before unscrewing the lid to your bottle of dye. Fill the bottle about three quarters of the way full with warm water from the tap, then replace the lid and carefully shake the contents until the powder at the bottom completely dissolves. If you need to, you can also stir the dye with a straw or stirrer you don't mind getting dyed. Once the dye is completely mixed, replace the lid and remove the small plastic cap at the end of the spout, then apply all over your fabric. It's fine to use the whole bottle on your project. Wrap up your wet fabric in some plastic to soak. You can use a plastic bag, cling wrap, or just reuse your plastic gloves. Let the dye set for eight to 24 hours, depending on how dark you want the finished color to be. Then carefully take the fabric out over a sink and wash with warm, soapy water, rubbing the fabric together until all the glue comes off and the water runs clear of any dye. Now just hang or lay the fabric out to dry for an hour or two and you'll be ready to start gift wrapping. Once your fabric is dry, you're ready to wrap a gift. I'm going to demonstrate a simple method for wrapping gifts with fabric based on the Japanese tradition of furoshiki. This method works best on gifts in square or rectangular boxes. To start, turn your fabric so that one of the corners faces you and place the box in the center of your fabric. Now fold the bottom corner up and over the box away from you. Find the point where the fabric reaches the edge of your box and fold it again so the fold lines up with the far edge of the box. Repeat this step from the top corner of the fabric towards you. If your box is small like mine, you may need to fold the fabric one more time to make it fit. Now pinch and fold the loose ends of your fabric the same way you would with paper wrapping and draw them up to the top of the box. Knot the two loose ends together and either leave them loose as a bow or tuck them away for a nifty carrying handle. 
thank you all so much for crafting with us today. We would love to see what you made with your kit. So please feel free to share your project with us on social media using the hashtag make your own story. The craft along program is generously sponsored by the library trustees and the friends of the Brookline Public Library. From all of us here at the library, we miss you and wish you very happy making. Bye-bye.